I recall visiting my first waste facility out west and thinking, look at all this waste. Imagine how much there is internationally. And it created a really quick reality that was not simply a waste. It had a value and it was everywhere around us and growing out of control, but also out of the public eye. So our little tech-based environmental company got a lift off and the work began. The founding of Ages was a choice. It was a choice of mine to make change and make a difference. I wanted to show my children that if you believe in something, don't ever let someone tell you that you can't do it. The thought process started in 2011, with 2012 being the initial incorporation date, originally calling it Advanced Global Environmental Solutions, slowly becoming Ages Thermal Process Incorporation. Continuing through drawings, procurement, and initial shop setup, along with the fabrication stage for a first full-scale commercial unit. This was soon followed by our commissioning and open house in September of 2018. This was primarily set as an introduction to the select public and media with a focus on the National Research Council and Alberta Innovates Technology Futures as a thank you for their support to date, which totaled nearly $1 million in grants. Safe to say it was a big day for the AGES team the supporters, our families, and showing how far we had come together. Over the next year and throughout 2019, we processed, tweaked, added, altered, and deleted as we processed our way through the full-scale, commercial-sized R&D process. Late 2019 is when we were able to go from small batch trials and feedstocks to larger volume and an array of feedstocks supplied by Terbia. Then we were introduced to COVID but we never quit. We continued enhancements, more processing and mechanical adjustments to the unit while working closely with a few industry groups, all while exceeding not just our expectations, but the industry groups and the third party testing. My last but certainly not least mention is in 2018, we also filed more IP claims, but this time for plastics processing. Briefly mentioning by way of our engineers R&D trials that for the broad span of morph one to seven plastics, we can recoup 70 to 75% naphtha and kerosene type distillate product with the remaining being a char used in asphalt type processes. Though this is not yet a focus, we do have full intention and in fact have support and a strategic relationship with Waste Management Services out of Texas, which is the largest group of its kind in North America. We at Ages know we are game changers. As we continue to walk forward, we anticipate a long future of ridding the world of an immense waste issue, affecting negatively the environment in so many ways. We help groups bottom lines, revenues, protect them from liabilities, save immense costs, and create an incredible value revenue stream from a waste which has reusable or saleable byproducts. There's without question a problem in this world, and we at Ages believe through grit, passion, and determination and believing in our team that we have this unicorn that the world's been chasing for 35 years unsuccessfully until us. Welcome to Thermal Trap, Age's patent pending thermal remediation technology that enables the industry, including exploration and production companies waste management and remediation companies, and oil and gas service operators to safely remove liability and contaminants, reduce costs while creating a niche oil revenue stream. Ages technology creates value from the waste stream while elevating environmental leadership. Thermal Trap is a thermal remediation technology that is able to effectively and efficiently process waste streams from the oil and gas industry. Through the proprietary process of applying heat, organic contaminants are heated to their vaporization point in an inert environment and swept into a condensing system for recapture and future reuse. Additional organics are also removed from the waste matrix, thus reducing the liability and contamination, allowing for disposal within a Tier 1 in situ disposal or Class 2 non-hazardous facilities. Typical applications of thermal trap technology would include, but are not limited to, the processing of oil-based drill cuttings, SEG-D centrifuge paste, tank bottoms, tailings, and contaminated soils due to spills. 
The commercially scaled, modular-built prototype unit located in central Alberta, Canada, is fed via a feed auger. The purpose of this auger is to supply the inlet hopper above with raw waste material as it readies for processing. The feed auger is controlled via a variable frequency drive, which operates based on the level set point measured within the hopper. In a commercial application, this auger is likely not required. Once conveyed into the inlet hopper, the material is transferred via the inlet plug auger to the thermal conveyor. The function of the inlet plug auger is threefold. First, to convey the material from the inlet hopper to the thermal conveyor. Second, to provide the barrier between the inert process environment and atmosphere. And third, to control the amount of material entering the thermal conveyor to be processed. Additionally, the inlet plug auger can be jacketed as a preheat vessel, thus aiding in the heating efficiency of the thermal process. Similarly, this inlet plug auger is VFD controlled and operated based on the level in the inlet hopper measured by the radar. Upon entering the positive pressure thermal housing, the waste stream is heated from either ambient temperature or the preheat temperature obtained in the inlet plug auger under an inert environment to the distillation temperature required to liberate the organic contaminants to a vapor state. Pending the raw waste stream composition, the retention time within the thermal conveyor can range from 30 to 90 minutes, and the speed of the conveyor and heating duty is automatically adjusted to achieve the desired distillation set point prior to the exit of the material. Once reaching the hot end of the conveyor, the raw waste stream has been separated into two mediums, the processed solids and the distilled organics, such as water and hydrocarbon. The processed solids enter the outlet chute from the thermal conveyor and via the outlet plug auger are conveyed to the processed solids bin for disposal. Similar to the inlet plug auger, the outlet plug auger functions as two roles. First, the ability to convey the material from the thermal housing to the bin, and second, to provide the barrier between the inert thermal processing environment and the atmosphere. These processed solids have retained significant heat and as such, a post-cooling jacketed system can be implemented and this recaptured energy will be used to preheat the inlet plug auger, as mentioned earlier. From an analytical perspective, upwards of 99.5% of the organic contaminants, including the valued hydrocarbon, have been recaptured and the toxic BTEX, benzene, toluene, ethylbenzene, and xylene have been removed from the waste stream. It should be noted that knife gates can also be installed on the inlet and outlet sections of the process as a means to ensure the positive pressure environment and aid in startup and shutdown. Upon distillation of the organic contaminants, these vapors are swept from the thermal housing to the closed loop condensing system via a high line. This high line leads to a spray condenser where the distillates encounter a high volume of water and are condensed from vapor form back into a liquid. Within the spray condenser vessel, there will be vapors present that are non-condensable, and this would include the nitrogen used as the inert medium to sweep the distilled organics from the thermal conveyor into the condensing process. These non-condensable vapors proceed off the top of the spray condenser and through a cyclone separator to remove any further organics, and finally travel through a scrubbing and filter system prior to being released back to the atmosphere. The oil water emulsion that now resides in the spray condenser is transferred through a VFD controlled pump to the oil water separator. Within this vessel, the oil and water are separated whereas the oil, through a weir system, is conveyed to a production tank for reuse. In regard to the recaptured water, it is used for further cooling within the condensing system and should a surplus volume be encountered, the water is simply skimmed off to a holding tank. In the case of the recaptured invert from the oil-based drill cuttings trial, third-party lab analysis has confirmed that it is below 0.4 BSNW. In the trials that have included the SEG-D centrifuge paste, the recaptured hydrocarbon has been less than 0.2 BSNW. BSNW refers to the volume of non-hydrocarbon contaminants contained in the cargo of crude oil. Typically, this is made up of basic sediment, BS, and water, W, and is required to be below 0.5 to meet pipeline grade criteria. The AGES thermal trap technology is a fully automated process incorporating the most up-to-date human-to-machine interface and control logic. 
In addition, the process has been designed and engineered with the most stringent safety and shutdown protocols in mind. By procuring the best in industry equipment, coupled with the most in-depth process control expertise in the business, Aegis has effectively brought an environmental and disruptive technology to the forefront of the industry, not only solving what seemed to be an insurmountable waste issue, but also proving it can be done while adding considerably to the bottom line. In the near future, we look forward to applying this technology to the processing of plastics. After all, plastics are 70 to 80 percent hydrocarbon based. Today we're going to look at two different waste streams that we've processed through our Aegis Thermal Trap technology. The first is going to be the drill cuttings. The raw waste stream that we received from our client was 75% solids, 20% invert, and 5% water. Once running it through our thermal remediation technology, we were able to recapture 99.9% .9 of the hydrocarbon or bitumen, and of course, virtually 100% of the water. Thus, we were left with 0.2 BSNW, thus pipeline grade recaptured hydrocarbon or oil. And we also had our processed solids, which was virtually 100% free of any residual bitumen other than 0.1% as per the Dean Stark third-party analysis from Maxim Labs up in Edmonton. Trial product number two that we've processed through our Aegis Thermal Trap technology has been SAG D centrifuge paste. This product came to us via a client out in Eastern Alberta. The goal of this test was not necessarily to recover the hydrocarbon, but more importantly for them was to reduce the waste itself from class one hazardous down to class two, which meant the removal of the BTEX being the benzene, toluene, ethyl benzene, and xylings from the product itself. In regards to the analysis themselves, once again, we did send these off to a third party lab being Maxim. And we also used AGAP for a portion of this lab analysis as well. The raw samples we got from our client out in Eastern Alberta constituted roughly 47% solids, 23, or let's say 24% hydrocarbon, and a remainder of around 28% of it being water. The goal of our client was not just to recapture the hydrocarbon from the SAG D centrifuge paste. It was more importantly, or just as importantly, the removal of the BTEX from the waste stream itself, thus taking it from class one hazardous requirement on the disposal side, down to class two being non-hazardous. We're able to reduce the amount of volume that requires disposal in the case of the SAG D centrifuge paste by over 50%. We're also able to effectively and efficiently remove any measurable trace of BTEX. We ran two different tests on this, one at low temperature and one at high temperature. Both processed solids, as per AGAT Labs determination, came below their reported detection limit of 0 0.005. In the raw sample, it was offside in regards to both the benzene and the toluene, requiring it to be class one disposed of. In the processed solids, we were able to thus meet class two disposal requirements with no measurable BTEX left in the process solids. So reach out to us, join our line with Aegis team, and we will impact a multitude of necessary environmental needs together and have some fun along the way.